वेलकम एवरी वन इन टूडेज टिटोरियल वी विल कवर फोर इसेंशियल स्टेप फर्स्ट डाउनलोडिंग विन विन एस सी पी सिक्स पॉइंट वन पॉइंट वन नेक्स्ट इंस्टॉलिंग इट ऑन विंडोज टेन देन कनेक्टिंग यूर ए सी टू इंस्टेंस विथ विन एस सी पी फाइनली इफिशियंटली ट्रांसफरिंग फाइल बिटवीन यूर लोकल विंडोज फोल्डर एंड द ए सी टू सर्वर लेट्स डाइव इन फर्स्ट वी विल गो टू गूगल नाउ टाइप विन एस सी पी मोस्ट प्रॉब्ली द फर्स्ट रिजल्ट विल बी विन एस सी पी क्लिक ऑन दैट नाउ क्लिक ऑन डाउनलोड नाउ वंस यू क्लिक ऑन दैट नाउ विल रीडायरेक्ट टू दिस पेज क्लिक डाउनलोड विन एस सी पी सिक्स पॉइंट वन पॉइंट वन वेट फॉर अ सेकेंड नाउ वॉट एवर फोल्डर यू वॉन्ट टू सेलेक्ट सेलेक्ट एंड सेव इट विल नॉट टेक मच टाइम टू डाउनलोड बिकॉज इट्स वेरी लेस इन द साइज नाउ you need to go to your folder wherever you have saved that so i have saved in the download folder now you will able to see that double click on that once you double click so it depend on your internet speed uh, sorry your laptop speed it will take little bit time install for all user recommended click on that after that uh, it will ask couple of questions so it is uh, very easy like we just need to click on accept agree yes yes now next next uh commander next install okay it's installing all its uh, packages uh, in c file now on the desktop you will be able to see that winacp logo is there it will take a uh, little bit time not much so we will wait for that you want have a store okay so basically from your party session it will import all the sessions i will say yes so i have to save session in party so i will click on okay and finish if you want to donate you can pay for winacp because it's free now close that windows and or you can go to new private window from this side and close that close all now we will also log in to our cloud okay go to google from google just type aws console login from aws first will be that aws amazon.com console click on sign in now after that once it's log so just whatever your root your root user or i am user type so i am root user so i am typing my email id which is cloud.josh@gmail.com now click on next now enter your password then click on sign in sign in okay it's uh, loading now we will we will also check okay uh, click on ec2 we will transfer file from like local to server server to local click on running instances okay uh, and uh, don't uh, type any filter so click your server one go to instance start instance so it will start your instance it will take some time yeah within 1 to 2 minute depend most probably within 1 minute it will start the server if it is windows so it will take more time so if you see the instant state is still it is in pending and public ip address is not assigned now if you go to win acp uh, first close that window now if you maximize it so both the document and document if you see on the left and on the right both are the document folder you see uh there is uh, two files like dot ppk dot ppk and folder is there so now our server is running copy that public ip address right 38 because whenever you stop so that ip address uh, change so click on new type and you can click on that server and just type change your host name okay click on edit and change the host name rest of the thing like port number will be 22 your username whatever you know and save the session and password uh, because in putty it will not ask us for password now because we have save session in putty 
and ppk file location is there so it will not ask for the password from here and one more thing uh, i think we need to check security as well so you can follow this step to go to your uh, security wizard now edit inbound rule here see instead of custom say my ip address so whatever your ip address at that time it will connect to your ip address right if you read connect so it will definitely connect yes now if you see it automatically pick up the my security key because we have saved that in party session now okay let's also copy same in party so if i load i just need to change my ip address which is public ip address go back to ec2 dashboard from instance running instance you will be able to find that okay if you see public ipv4 address copy that and uh, check if it is same or not definitely it will not same so change that just ip address okay host name or ip address just change that click on save click on open it will open same server from vnacp and putty so we have open putty because here we type ls and check uh, whatever file we have or whatever directory we are working presently now copy that ppk file from c user rf document to home ubuntu which is our server right now we have also check in the putty so we don't have any file on home directory now we will copy and paste from our document folder to our ubuntu server okay so let me go here and if you see my ppk just drag and drop say okay okay file is there transfer mention turned off win scp okay just click and ignore that uh, notification now go back to your putty and type ls the my security.ppk file is there on the server okay you can also see the date and time uh, okay yeah you see 19th september 19th right so okay ls hyphen al the last file okay whatever permission is there so you will be able to see that okay so here we will create one directory and create mkdir and test hit enter you will see test directory will be there okay test directory is there now we will try to copy that test first refresh that okay so test is there now from server to local okay here uh, we will create touch file touch and file name okay my file will we have created one directory and okay we have created on the home uh, in the test we didn't create anything okay we have created on the home now type cd and ls so test is in our home directory if you refresh another file is there my file refresh my file is there so from server to local now we will copy file from server to local you can also see the server name whatever our server name is there in the new server one so just drag file from server and drop on my document okay for folder it is same you will see folder is there now okay if you like this video make sure to subscribe to this channel and share with your family and friend and thanks for watching